Hi guys, Legend of Old 101 here once again, bringing you the Arrow Finale Fade Out review. Oh my gosh. There's going to be spoilers though, by the way, there's going to be spoilers. Just seen it literally a couple of minutes ago. Me and my family just watched it. I was a bit rushed, but I accomplished what I needed to do, to be fair. Well, yeah, at the end, it was more like a girly team up episode. Um, random shoehorn story plot in there just to save the little brother. Uh, yeah, me I had to go save her with the with the canaries. Um, so yeah, that plot gets finished up. You see a cameo from Slade Wilson, Manu Bennett, greatest Deathstroke of all time. Um. <laughs> and you, everyone knows that. Everyone knows Manu Bennett is a phenomenal actor. He's like literally so underrated. It's, it's, it's criminal. Um, so yeah, so basically they shut down the Arrow Sanctuary. You know what I'm saying? That gets shut down. Everyone goes, um, basically goes their separate ways. Got to go to the um, Arrow funeral. John leads the um, charge in um, the the <laughs> last rites, so to speak, of um, Oliver Queen. Because John knew him best, uh, the people who was there. Um, it was fitting since he was literally his brother. At that point, he was Oliver's brother. Everyone knows John Diggle was his brother at this point. Um, brother from another mother. <laughs> um, so, yeah, everyone kind of comes back. Roy's there. Roy marries, uh, marries Fee at the end. It was kind of quick out of nowhere. You're like, what the heck? They kind of just rushed stuff in there just to get out of the way because it's finishing. Um, what else happened? Uh, Mia, she goes back to her timeline at the end. Um, Laurel um, reconciles with her dad. She's so I'm talking about how why how comes the other Laurel didn't turn up and she why is she still there why wasn't she because she was the better version of me, and the dad just goes nah he didn't need to be fixed so I like that that was a nice little touch on there because this Laurel she she deserves a lot of love man she deserves it. Um, she just hugs and starts, starts a little bit crying here and there. Um, it's basically Mad Dog, Rene, he's going to take over as um, the mayor of the town and he's kind of saying, ah, oh, take over the town and you guys are leaving because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, because Dinah and John are going to be leaving the city, John's going to Metropolis, so that um, leaves an opening for John, so wait, I'm going to wait for that, I'm going to wait just yet, I'm gonna, I ain't going to say too much, John's going to Metropolis, so that's they're going to tie into the, obviously, the Lois and Clark storyline, that's going to that um, spin off that's going to happen um, John's obviously going to be part of that it looks like because he's, he's moving there he's going to be the guy who just comes in and pops in and out um, yeah so and yeah, throughout this episode it kind of jumps back and forth between 20, 20 and 2040 um, so yeah at that point people are waking up you know what I'm saying people are starting to remember who they were in 2040 Stuff like that. So no, I didn't really care about twenty forty. To be fair, I think anyone really did. Anyone really, really cared about the, the here and now, the present, future is kind of whatever. So we just want to be with the current guys that we've got now. Um. So yeah, that happens, and the big. Oh, there's two big stories that I have ended on the show. The the biggest, John, becomes the green. Green Lantern, yo. John Diggle becomes the Green Lantern. John Stewart, let's go. So basically, basically a spaceship, well, or something, some meteorite crashes down. John sees it, opens it up, something green glowing. Doesn't put it on, but you know what's going to happen. You know, basically, the uh, Lois and Clark story, that's going to happen. That spin off. You know, he's going to wear that ring. Wear it pride. That willpower, baby. Willpower. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to John wearing that lantern ring. It's been a long time coming. Everyone thought it was happening. Crisis didn't happen. So they saved it until the end. Did a Smallville effect. And the big, the other big story here. Well, I was like, what, is, what kind of ending? I was like, what is this? Felicity randomly calls up the monitor. The monitor just goes, you're going to a place where you can never return. So... 
hopefully she goes, she's ready. So basically she goes to the afterlife with Oliver. She's um, in the underworld with Oliver, with Oliver now. And it basically ends like that. So I was like, wow. So she just, so that kind of explains in the future why she goes missing. But no, why no one can find her because she's in the afterlife. She's uh, basically dead now with Oliver. She's basically, she's moved on. Her spirit has gone to where Oliver is now. And the monitor just leads her on her way as the ferryman. Penny for the ferryman now. Pow. Rhythm of, rhythm of Asher on anyway. Straight to the underworld. Straight to Oliver. I don't know what I think about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Literally, I don't, I, I don't know about the ending with Felicity. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. It's just kind of kind of in between for me. Kind of a meh. It's kind of like okay. To the afterlife, I'm like she's got kids and she's got. Oh, who's gonna look after the kids? Who's gonna? Uh, and it's kind of always kind of things you can't think about. And it's just like oh, she's oh, let's see. It's not first year, so she meets him. It's like a vampire dies type ending. But without the feels. You know what I'm saying? It kind of, the end was kind of rushed, as like I said before. It wasn't, didn't have that kind of ending like Vampire Diaries did. You know what I'm saying? Or even the originals did. The way it ended, you just, you just felt something. It's like, you felt the world's going to end. You know what I'm saying? That's how you felt when you watch that show. It's just like, you start tearing up, start crying. That Vampire Diaries and the originals just made you start crying the way it ended. But yeah. <laughs> it was a good ending overall. It was a little bit rushed. I started feeling the same problem. It, just, it just felt rushed. So I'm looking forward to John Stewart, the Green Lantern baby. Yeah, that's gonna have to happen. And saying I saying I see nothing about Felicity and Oliver anymore. They look like they're in the afterlife, so they they basically killed them off. So it's so mostly gonna be about John Stewart and you might see a few canary stuff here. I think it's gonna be a canary spin-off at some point. I think they're working on it. So it's mostly gonna be about the canaries and John Stewart. So they're gonna be like the main spin-offs of that show. You know, because no one else can Everyone else, there's not really for them, nothing really much for them to do, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that's just my take on the Arrow finale fade out. The finale, the end of Arrow, the, the longest running CW superhero show. It's, it's, it's complete, it's finished. So, be prepared for them spin offs. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know CW loves a spin off. They love it. Um, so, yeah. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I always like you guys are thinking about this. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Freeman Place. You're going to find your boy Legend of Old 101. Do like, share, subscribe, press the notification bell. The next video drops. We're going to be there. So, whether you are there or night, stay safe out here in these streets. It's Legend of Old 101 signing off. Peace.